Okay, we have Dark Elder versus Eldar. Captain controls the mission. Spearhead is the deployment. This will be the end of the Dark Eldar's turn one. And what has happened is that there were many shots taken at the Avatar, except for one of the shots scattered. And if you notice, there's no Farseer left, which instant killed him at the time. And unfortunately, I failed my invulnerable save. few choice words for that, but since this is PG rated, I'll leave it out. Uh. And a turn one for the Eldar. Pathfinders took a shot into that. Divenders took a shot into that. Fire Prisms took a shot into that. Other Pathfinders took a shot into that. Cannons over there took a shot in that. That is still alive. Avatar attacked that. Wraithguard to attack that. It's still alive. A weapon is gone though, I have been corrected. These guys can turn around and kill them. That was just the way. This will be the end of Dark Elder turn two. Get another devil fish for the fireworms team of the crews. Grotesques and witches attacked the Banshee unit. Yeah. A lot of the Banshees were taken out, but in the end, the Banshees did more wounds to the Grotesques and the witches, and they ran. Yeah. There, there, there is no hand. Avatar was attacked by the Talos. They both took a wound. Less Wraith Guard. All my cannons are gone. Die Avengers are in hand to hand combat. All I have to do is kill one more wound. You know that. One more wound. This will be the end of the Eldar's turn two. Wraith Guard took out a Ravager. Avatar took out the Talos. Dire Avengers took care of the Homunculus on a jet bike. What to fear would be those witches? Do you want the army building? Uh, Use it to, uh, to yeah. Dark Eldar's yeah. end of turn three. Avatar um, still standing, many shots were taken to it. Wraith Guard. They were tank shocked, the Dire Avengers, so they're running. This will be the end of turn three for the Eldar. The Ravers blowing up over there with people disembarking after the Avatar took a couple shots at it. The Wraith Guard attacked into train. One combat, setting his guys to fall back. This will be in the middle of the end of Dark Eldar turn 4. The reason it's in the middle is because at this point the Eldar believe that the Dark Elder do have the game to the point because there's no one to hold the objective over there. 
There are a few units here that will be assaulted because the assault phase hasn't happened yet. And the other objective is, is way over in the corner where no one can get to it. So at this point, the wind will go to the Dark Elder.